Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain how to draw the polar graph. In polar graphing, first of all we check the symmetries. Symmetries about x-axis, about y-axis and pole and then we consider different values of theta. and find corresponding values of R. Then we draw the graph. So these are the steps which we follow to draw the polar graphing. We first check the symmetry about each axis. Then we consider different values of theta and find out the corresponding values of r and then we plot the graph. Now first of all check the symmetry about x-axis. Now what do you mean by symmetry about x-axis? x-axis or we can say theta is equal to 0 degree line. So let's suppose this is our initial ray, this is the pole, this is any point P lying on the graph having the coordinates R and theta means this distance is R and the angle is theta. So we move this angle theta, our direction is over here and if we want to cover uh, reach at this point P, so we can cover this distance R and we will reach at the point P. So if corresponding to this P, if this P dash satisfy the graph then we will say the graph is symmetrical about this line. This is x-axis or theta is equal to 0 degree line. So now what are the coordinates of P dash? Now find the coordinates of P dash. We can move this angle since it is clockwise so we denote it by minus of theta and then we can cover a distance r. So the coordinates of P dash will be min uh, r comma minus theta. The another way to reach at this point is by using the backward distance. So we can move such angle. This angle is pi minus theta and then our direction is towards this. If we want to reach at point P dash, we have to come back. So that back distance is denoted by minus of r comma pi minus theta. So one point representation with the help of forward distance and another representation with the help of backward distance. Another way to reach at this point is we can move anti-clockwise. This angle is 2 pi minus theta. Now our face towards this line, towards this. So now we can cover distance r in a forward direction. So we can reach at this point with an angle moving 2 pi minus theta. The another representation of this point is we can move this angle, uh, sorry, this angle. This angle is how much? This is pi plus theta. And then again, our face is towards this direction. If we want to reach at P dash, we have to come back. So that back distance is denoted by minus of R and the angle is minus of pi plus theta. So these are four distinct representation of a single point in complete turn. Two with the forward distance and two with the backward distance. So now we need to check all these points. Let's suppose the curve is r is equal to some function of theta. So if we want to show, to check that uh, this curve, this polar graph is symmetrical about x-axis or theta is equal to zero line, we need to check these four points. We will check the point r is equal to minus theta by replacing r with r and theta with minus theta in the main function. If it's satisfying, means left hand side is equal to right hand side, it means this point lies on the curve. So that means your graph is symmetrical about theta is equal to zero line. 
if it is not satisfying the graph check the second one then check the third one then check the fourth one if they are not satisfying if all of them are not satisfying then it means your graph is not symmetrical about x axis or theta is equal to 0 degree line so basically whenever the point p lies on the graph if p dash also lies on the graph we will say the graph is symmetrical about x axis but for p dash we have to check four distinct representation if any one of them satisfy the graph then we will say that our graph is symmetrical about x axis or theta is equal to 0 degree line right so we need to put all these coordinates in a main function if left hand side is equal to right hand side it means our graph is symmetrical about x axis now just see with the help of an example for example uh, let's suppose the function is r is equal to 1 minus cos theta if you want to check whether it is symmetrical about x axis we need to check all these so we first put the first point let's suppose r minus theta so we consider the left hand side and right hand side if they are equal after substituting this then we will say this point lies on the graph so we replace r with r and theta with minus of theta now this is again 1 minus cos theta which is r so r is equal to r so your left hand side is same as that right hand side so this implies this point satisfying the graph means the graph is symmetrical about about x axis but if the graph is let's suppose r is equal to 1 plus sin theta then for this you substitute the points r is equal to r comma minus theta so it will become r is equal to 1 plus sine of minus theta which is 1 minus sine theta so they are not same so when you substitute r to be minus r pi minus theta when you put this point over here so your r is replaced with minus r and your theta is replaced with pi minus theta and 1 plus sine pi minus theta is again 1 plus sine theta which is r again these two are not equal now substitute the third point replace r with r and theta with 2 pi minus theta so 1 plus sine 2 pi minus theta it gives you 1 minus sine theta which is not r so again this point does not satisfy similarly the fourth one since all the four representation of p dash does not satisfy in this graph so this implies the graph is not symmetrical is not symmetrical about x axis so in this way we will check whether the graph is symmetrical about x axis or not if any one of representation satisfying the curve it means it is symmetrical about x axis similarly we will check the symmetry about so the symmetry about y axis or you can say theta is equal to pi by 2 degree line so this is our initial ray this is the pole this is equal to theta is equal to pi by 2 degree line or you can say y axis so if any point p lying on the graph with coordinates r and theta if p dash satisfy the graph we will then we will say our graph is symmetrical about y axis now what are the coordinates of p dash we can move this much angle this is pi minus theta and cover the distance r so this is r comma pi minus theta the another way is we can turn this much now our face is towards this direction this is minus theta angle and then we can come back and reach at this point so backward distance is denoted by minus of r and the angle is minus of theta the another way to reach at this point we can take a turn this much this is pi plus theta and then we can cover the distance r now since pi plus theta is clockwise so we can write this as minus of pi plus theta similarly we can take a turn this much this is 2 pi minus theta again we are facing toward this direction so if we want to reach at p dash we have to come back it means backward distance 
covers so that is denoted by minus of r so this angle is 2 pi minus theta so these are the four distinct representation of a p dash point in complete one turn so if any one of them satisfying the graph r is equal to f theta then we will say our graph is symmetrical about y axis now again see with the help of an example let's put r is equal to 1 minus cos theta so now if you put first point this r is equal to the point r minus of pi plus theta so if you replace r with r and theta with minus of pi plus theta we get 1 plus you know, 1 minus cos of pi plus theta which is 1 plus cos theta so not satisfying similarly second r comma pi minus theta so when you replace r with r and theta with pi minus theta again it is 1 plus cos theta not satisfying when you substitute the coordinate minus r minus theta so you replace r with minus r and theta with minus of theta you get 1 minus cos theta again it is not satisfying when you substitute r to be minus r 2 pi minus theta so again it is 1 minus cos theta which is r so not satisfying now since all the four representation of this single point p dash does not satisfy the graph this implies the graph is not symmetrical about y axis right but if you are having a graph r is equal to 1 plus sine theta so if you substitute the point r pi minus theta so replace r with r and theta with pi minus theta we get this is again r so this satisfy the graph so this implies the graph is symmetrical about y axis right so in this way we will check the symmetry about y axis if any point p lies on the graph corresponding p dash also lies on the graph then our graph is symmetrical about y axis so we need to check these four points if any one of the representation satisfy the graph it means our graph is symmetrical about y axis if none of them satisfying the graph so it means your graph is not symmetrical about y axis similarly we will check the symmetry about pole symmetry about pole means this is over pole this is any point p lying on the graph if corresponding to this p this p dash satisfy the graph then our graph is symmetrical about pole so now what are the coordinates of p dash you can move this much angle this is pi plus theta and cover the distance r you will reach at the point p dash similarly you can move this much angle this is pi minus theta with clockwise so negative sign and cover the distance r then other you can move this angle you are facing towards this direction and if you want to reach at p dash you have to cover the back distance and that is denoted by minus of r theta the another way to reach at this point is this one you can move this much angle this is 2 pi minus theta in clockwise direction so negative and you can go back so this is minus of r so these are the four distinct representation of a single point p dash in a complete turn so if any one of them satisfy the graph then your graph is metrical about pole now for example r square is equal to sine 2 theta so if you replace r with minus of r and theta with theta this satisfying so it this implies your graph is symmetrical about pole now what is the use of these symmetries in graphing so once we get our graph is symmetrical about 
about x axis about y axis whenever we have two symmetries clearly it is symmetrical about pole no need to check if your graph is symmetrical about x axis as well as y axis there is no need to check the symmetry about pole you can directly say that our graph is symmetrical to pole right and in this case we will consider theta to be from 0 to pi by 2 means only in the first quadrant we will draw the graph and rest will be drawn with the help of symmetries since your graph is symmetrical about all the axes so if you draw the graph in the first quadrant since it is symmetrical to x axis it will be drawn over here and since your graph is symmetrical about y axis rest of the graph will be drawn over here so it is sufficient to consider theta from 0 to pi by 2 whenever we have all the symmetries if our graph is symmetrical about x axis not y axis then clearly it is not symmetrical about pole right we can write directly if one graph is symmetrical to one not to other then clearly it is not symmetrical to the third one so since our graph is symmetrical to x axis means this line so we can draw the graph in above plane the rest will be drawn with the help of symmetry so it is sufficient to consider theta to be 0 to pi so whenever our graph is symmetrical to x axis but not y but not pole then it is sufficient to consider the theta from 0 to pi similarly if our graph is symmetrical to y axis not to x not to pole it means this one you can draw the graph in this direction in the first and the fourth coordinate the rest will be drawn with the help of symmetry so you consider theta varying from here to here so that means our theta is varying from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so draw the graph over here the rest will be drawn with the help of symmetry if your graph is symmetrical about pole only then you can choose theta to from 0 to pi or from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 in any one rest will be drawn with the help of symmetry about pole so these are few points which we have to remember during drawing the graph of polar curve if all symmetries it is sufficient to consider theta varying in the first quadrant if x axis then in first and second 0 to pi if along y axis only then first and the fourth quadrant means minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 if along the pole only then either you can consider theta from 0 to pi or you can consider theta varying from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2.